Okay, last time we left off, we beat What Remains of Edith Finch and then played a couple hours of this game and got very close to what I assume is the end. Um, we've reached a point where we're going to investigate what's happening with uh, Sam, the main character's sister, whose uh, parents were kind of rejecting her for finding out that she was gay. Um, the last thing we discovered is that there's a secret path under the staircase in the entrance area, so I'm going to go there. Let's see if I can check the map really quick. This doesn't show me where I am, does it? I don't think it does. It's okay, we'll figure it out. I think it's in here. Should be a secret passage next to the staircase. Might be what this is. Yeah. There we go. Oh, is my trophy blocking it? I think it is. Come on, throw this somewhere else. Oops. Oh man, what were they doing in here? Possession and exorcism. Christine Quinn, interacting with the supernatural and releasing unwanted spirits. There's so many cool secret passages in here. I love all the trouble they went to to explain why that might be the case. Attic key, alright. The Funny sunset snaps. light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Talk true. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Oscar is the guy that we inherited the house from, I believe, right? Spooky ghost. Well, now we've got the attic key, and that's the place that the game has been drawing me to for the whole game. It's been doing a really good job of making you worried that something like creepy or supernatural or horror-like is going on. And there's still a pretty intense story to follow, but it doesn't seem like that's kind of where it's going with it. But like one of my favorite moments is you go in the bathroom and you see red everywhere, and you're like, oh my god, somebody slipped their wrist. It's like, oh, it's just manic panic. Just red hair dye. Uh, no thank you. If you guys want to discuss stuff in Hide, you can do so, or maybe discuss it after I beat the game, but for now I'd like to be as blind as possible. I'm gonna go upstairs and hang a right to get to the attic, I think. Let's see, real quick. I'm getting little tears and slowdowns while I turn around, but I think we're pretty close to being done, so I'm not going to stress about it too much. Yeah, like, this looks really creepy. Do not enter a friend. Lights are on. It's because it's a dark room, not because it's, like, a Satan room. It's a neat idea, because like if you go home and you expect people to be home and there's nobody there and you're just kind of exploring your empty house, it can be creepy in its own way. Sam, I'll always remember what we had. Stay strong, kick ass, I love you, Lonnie, with teardrops on it, it's sad. Oh my god. Katie. I fell asleep in the attic, in Lonnie and my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... Mm. She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said 
Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Cool. So that's where she is. She's not, like, dead or anything. I guess she could still be dead, but... Fix her for her dark room. For her dark room. I wonder if you can just come straight here if you load the game up. I might, after we finish it, make a new game and just see if I can get straight to that key. I also wonder if there's multiple paths to finding your way here, if there's a few specific things that you have to uncover. There might be different things that point you to where the keys are and the secret passages and the walls and things like that. Letters to Katie. Don't read this if you're not Katie. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, oh, that you'll wow. understand why I had to do what I did. I was really close to beating the game last you time. I didn't realize it. I probably should have just pushed an extra you. five minutes. <laughs> and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. Shortest VOD ever. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Ah, the so title's a double entendre. Love, Sam. She's gone home to be with the person who is home to her. Oh, I had no way of knowing how much more content there was. That game was really good, though. I enjoyed it very much. I did play Edith Finch. I think it's my favorite game in the genre that I've experienced so far. This one's really cool, too. Good at slow dripping the story to you, too. Cool, then we'll have plenty of time for Tacoma. Yeah, there's a couple games you can call walking simulators. <laughs> I guess I could have potentially explored the house more and but I think I've basically been in every room, so I don't think there's anything we really missed. I'll boot the game up real quick before we split the VOD and start to coma. I'm just curious if I can go straight to the attic, or if it gates you from opening the little panels. I guess there's no reason why you would check that panel in the first place. genre of game, I think I prefer it. It's It's got a lot in common with the visual novel. But I like this game and Edith Finch's general lack of long dialogue sequences. It's more about discovering things and then getting voice acted dialogue over the rest of your discovery. Especially Edith Finch, which actually converts a lot of that dialogue and learning into little gameplay elements, like playing as a cat moving around. Cat named Baby Kitty, that is the best. <laughs> Whereas, you know, I, I really like Phoenix Wright, but Phoenix Wright can take so fucking long to get across a really simple idea, you know? It's very much have a get on with it relationship with most of the VNs that I've interacted with. Persona has the same problem. It just there's like one idea in this conversation, but we're gonna stretch it out for 20 minutes and never possible. All right. So out of curiosity, can I go straight to? Oh, there's commentary. That's cool. No, I love the mystery component of it. I like the trial component. It's just so bloated. <laughs> Like, 
Gone home and Edith Finch Hi, feel like very yeah, precise so experiences. So there's a key over here. Under the duck. Can I just go straight there? Yeah, I feel like the way the light flickers kind of draws your attention away from this corner in the first place. And there's a lot of other stuff to look at here that makes there's no reason why you would look at this. Okay, and you have to get super close to it to be able to see it. That's cool that you can just go straight here, though. Wow. Is the attic key still here? Wow. That's wild. Is it different if the I just, like... Sunset light in this house is the saddest thing go I've straight ever there. seen. I just want to sleep. That might end up being the problem, though, is that if a game like Phoenix Wright wasn't so bloated... She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Oh, it's interesting that she opens with, maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait immediately. If Phoenix Wright removed all the bloat, it would be a two-hour game, right? And... It's kind of hard to, to charge 30 or 60 bucks for a two-hour game and feel justified in doing it. And that ends the game. That's really cool. You can end, The speed run for Gone Home is like Katie. 30 seconds. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, we'll be back in a couple minutes. I just got to get Tacoma set up. It'll take me a quick sec. 